Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing how much does it cost to set up a Thai company. I know this, this video may irk some folks that watch it, but yeah, this, this is a deceptively simple question that the answer is not so, over, you know, so overwhelmingly simple. And what are we talking about here? Well, so, we get a lot of emails from folks who are looking to set up a Thai company and they just send an email, what do you charge to set up a Thai company? Well, that's really going to depend, depending on the circumstances that we're dealing with. For example, different industries in Thailand operate under different sections of the law. There may be restrictions, for example, on foreigners operating there. There may be certain benefits to, for example, Americans under the Amity Treaty, or there may be uh, you know, promoted businesses like the Board of Investment the BOI. There may be other types of promoted investment in the Eastern Economic Corridor, the EEC. So again, it's going to depend on the type of company one's looking to set up. The underlying business activity is going to be really important when determining what are going to be the underlying costs associated with company setup. Meanwhile, many foreigners that contact us about setting up a Thai company, they're looking at the company, but they're not really seeing the bigger picture, which is a foreigner looking to do business in Thailand is also going to go ahead and need a visa. They're going to need work authorization. There's other costs. There's other considerations associated with that. There's other documentation associated with that. And under those circumstances, folks need to understand that it's not just a cut and dried question. It's not just a question of how much you charge to set up a company and boom, it's just this amount. No, we need to know what kind of business you're doing. We need to know if there's foreigners involved, not involved, in what way they're involved. Depending on the type of prospective business, it might not even be possible for a foreigner to be involved in it at all. So again, there's a lot of contributing factors that go into the analysis associated with the costs of setting up a company in Thailand. It's not just a quick answer all of the time. I do understand it can be a little bit frustrating for folks who are trying to set up a business here for the first time, but understand, it is a foreign country. It has a very novel and unique legal system, especially when it comes to corporate law. So it's not, it's not just a matter of just, you know, filling out some paperwork and boom, you've just got the company.